All right, so today I'm gonna to be doing a quick little review on my Sparco QRTR seat that I've had in the car for a little over a year now. So it's well broken in, it's well used, and I've done a couple road trips with it, and I've done plenty of racing with it, and I uh, am very familiar with it, and I've daily driven it for the past little over a year now. So I just want to give a little bit of my thoughts on what I think of it and how it's held up. Um, <clears throat> these seats are FIA certified, just so you know. Um, they're meant to fit a 36 inch waist. I'm a 34 and so I do move around a little bit in it, but that's okay because I need a seat for someone who's taller because I'm six foot seven. Just so you guys like kind of understand how I fit in it. I'm six foot seven and I'm, I'm about 220 pounds um, and I have a 34 inch waist and it makes it a fairly comfortable seat for daily driving. Um, <clears throat> it's not the most comfortable if you're doing like a really long road trip, like say uh, over three hours, but anything less than that, you're okay. And daily driving, it's fine. Um, the only complaint I would say I have is for daily use is it's a little tight in the shoulders and also this is like a proper true to form bucket racing seat. It's not just a like sporty street seat. Um, however, it does its job when you're on track. Um, the other complaint I have with it, the big complaint I have is that I have yet to get to because I haven't installed them yet, but the uh, holes where the um, shoulder harnesses come through. My shoulder is like up at this level. So if I were to use five point harness in this thing, it might be at like a little weird angle. Now, the other thing though, is you can take the bottom seat pad out and that will like help you sit a little bit lower. Um, <clears throat> but otherwise it's pretty comfortable. Like I daily drive it. It's, it's fine. It's, it's a great seat. It holds you in. You can drive, like I've done track days, autocross, like everything, street driving. It's great. Um, there's, I guess, three big complaints I have with it. Number one, it is in the year I've had it, it has sun faded pretty bad. Um, I don't know if you can tell from like video, but like, it's not necessarily like really black anymore. It's kind of more just like a, like it just kind of has a washed out faded look, especially over here on the driver's side where it's by the window. Now, granted, I don't have any tint, window tint. I will come in the spring, but as of right now, I don't have any. And um, <clears throat> it's kind of faded fairly. Uh, a fair amount which I'm not happy about because in like come 10 years from now if I still have it in the car it's gonna be pretty pretty faded the other thing that I've ran into from daily driving it is there's no wear pads or protection on the these parts of the seat so you can see from sliding in and out of the car, it has worn some pretty gnarly holes in the side pad. <clears throat> and um, as a result of that, I have to get in and out of the car with what I call the Ken Block maneuver, where you like get in the car and head first and you put your hand on the passenger seat. And then you like maneuver yourself in and just sit straight down in the seat. That way you're not like sliding it. But that's what you got to do with this if you're daily driving it because it is like a true bucket. Like you do like kind of fall into it. Um, there's no getting around that. The other thing, and I haven't really like done a ton of research on this, but you can't really buy like a new, like a brand new cover for it that I've seen. Just the exterior fabric or the insert pads um which is kind of a 
you know, I would like to have that option because these seats are not cheap. Um, and there's also multiple trims you can get this in. So they're, these seats are roughly $900 brand new, but then that doesn't include shipping. The other thing about these seats is you have uh, special end plates or side plates, I should say, for the seat. Um, I'll link or I'll put the part number in the description, but it's like you need to buy specific ones. You can't just use any one from what I've heard. I've never tried it with like uh, other ones. So you need to get different ones of those. So this is the QRTR. You can get the QRTC, which is carbon fiber. And then you can also get the QRTK which is made of carbon Kevlar. And then you can also get these in red. And I think I've seen some of them in like a vinyl or leather upholstery. But this one, for all intents and purposes, is your most basic, like just black with black fabric, QRTR. Um, and what makes these seats unique is they QRTR our technology gives you a fiberglass seat but at the weight of like a carbon seat it's a lot lighter um there's a special process they use to making these seats which is kind of cool um they're not the cheapest for a street seat but they're not really a street seat they're more for competition like i said they're fia certified like they're the only thing that this would make this seat um like you know higher up in like for competition is if it had like halo bars that's the only thing that would like take it to like turn it into like a true race car seat um but it's plenty good for like autocross drifting track days whatever you want to do with it um if you want to do drag racing with it you could whatever um it's held up good it's comfortable i like it i would definitely buy it again and i want to buy either a pair of red ones for my mustang or i want to get a set of qrtk ones for the mustang either one of those um but all in all it's a really good seat and i really like it um and i would definitely buy it again so that's my take on it